This morning, ISIS claims it influenced the driver of the truck that killed 84 people in Nice, France, and left more than 200 people injured. Also, French prosecutors are questioning five people in connection with the attack. This comes as security officials meet in Paris to review this third terrorist attack to hit France in the past 18 months. Elizabeth Palmer has more from Nice, where conflicting accounts are emerging about the truck driver. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Well, as you mentioned, ISIS this morning online has claimed credit for the attack, which is not the same as claiming responsibility. It may be that, as in the Orlando shootings, this young man, Mohammed Bulal, was inspired by ISIS propaganda that he read online. Uh, but whatever the case, whatever his motivation, one thing is clear. He has ended 84 lives and ruined hundreds more. People who live in Nice, along with visitors to this famous resort city, came to pay respects last night at a memorial near the scene of the massacre. Mohamed Boulal, 31 years old and born in Tunisia, was the man behind the wheel of the truck that barreled into the festive crowd on Thursday night, leaving a grim trail of dead and dying. But why he did it is still a mystery. Manuel Valls, the French Prime Minister, described Boulal as a terrorist, probably linked to radical Islam in one way or another. But when we visited the nondescript apartment building where he lived, estranged from his wife and children, his neighbour Yasmin said she saw no sign he was even an observant Muslim. He drank, she told me, even during Ramadan. And the way he stared frightened me. He never spoke to us when we said hello. The police combed through his apartment and took away a laptop computer. They also took Bulal's ex-wife in for questioning, her neighbors protesting as she was led away. Four other people are in custody too, as security officials try to figure out whether Bulal acted alone or did have links to a group. In Tunisia, his father told reporters that his son had a history of violence and mental illness. He'd get depressed and angry, he said, and then start yelling and break everything within reach. This underlines a dangerous fact, that is, that vulnerable, easily manipulable young men who have access to ISIS propaganda online all over the world have suddenly become security risks. Benita? Elizabeth Palmer in Nice, France this morning. Thank you.